folks. Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. You know, I began my day. Uh, I began my day today, as I often begin my days, by checking Donald Trump's Twitter feed <laughs> to see how far the crazy has spread. <laughs> and today, I really think he's off his meds. <laughs> because today, he went from crazy to cruel, tweeting, after consultation with my generals and military experts, please be advised that the United States government will not accept or allow dot, 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 <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> what? What? What won't you allow? <laughs> Socks with sandals, dancing in public. Please tell me it's not alcohol. I needs my drink. <laughs> I don't. I gotta have it. What could it be? What could it be? It took him 10 minutes to tell us what it was. What could it be? Well, 10 minutes later, he told us what he won't allow. Dot, 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 <laughs> dot. Transgender individuals to serve in any capacity in the U.S. military. Our military must be focused. <laughs> On decisive and overwhelming dot 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 <laughs> dot 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 victory and cannot be burdened with the tremendous medical costs and disruption that transgender in the military would entail. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. But why the hell would he do this? This isn't even one of his campaign promises. Back in the campaign, he tweeted this. Thank you to the LGBT community. I will fight for you while Hillary brings in more people that will threaten your freedoms and beliefs. What the hell does he think the T in LGBT stands for? <laughs> Trump? Tomato? I like an LGBT sandwich. <laughs> Hold the mayonnaise and no gay stuff, okay? <laughs> the, the whole thing, the whole thing took the Trump a supporter, Caitlyn Jenner, by surprise. She tweeted, there are 15,000 patriotic transgender Americans in the U.S. military fighting for us all. What happened to your promise to fight for them? Caitlin. Caitlin. I don't know if I'm the first person to break this to you, but he's a liar. I know. I know. I know he said he was your friend, but he was using you, girl. You deserve better. And those 15,000 transgender troops who volunteered to serve our country were minding their own business, protecting our freedoms, when they all got fired by tweet. That's like your wife divorcing you by cookie bouquet. <laughs> and keep in mind, this is what really stings. They are being rejected by a rich guy who, during Vietnam, sidestepped the draft with four deferments and a medical disqualification for bone spurs in his foot. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, but they were manly bone spurs in a powerful dude foot, okay? That just got all ouchy when he put it in a boot. Well, some transgender veterans out there are not taking it, like former Navy SEAL Kristen Beck, who said, Let's meet face to face, and you tell me I'm not worthy. Uh -huh. It's a Navy SEAL. Christian, I wouldn't hold my breath if I were you. I doubt he's going to show what with the foot and all. <laughs> and let's talk about those tremendous medical costs. It's estimated that healthcare for transgender personnel would add between 2.4 million and 8.4 million 
per year to the military's health care budget. To put that number in perspective, the military spends five times as much on Viagra. <laughs> and if your erection lasts for more than four hours, that's too bad, because you're stuck on a submarine for the next six months. <laughs> so clearly, why so much Viagra? Is that why they don't use bayonets anymore? <laughs> they just put an edge on that thing? Just sharpen that thing up to a mirror polish? Put that one in there. So I put that one in there. So clearly, it's not about the money or the military, because the Pentagon seems to have been unaware that Trump has decided to bar transgender people from the military. So the Pentagon didn't even know? Wait a second. Trump said he consulted with my generals. Oh, I know. I know. That must be a typo. He meant my genitals. No. Damn you, Siri! Damn you, Siri! It's not his fault. It's not his fault. Hey. So why is he being such a jerk, other than practice? Um, <laughs> well, here's the deal. Probably to try to distract everybody from the fact that uh, repeal and replace is getting ass and kicked. Um, okay. You guys uh, remember yesterday? We're talking about this yesterday. Yesterday, you guys might have watched yesterday. Yesterday, we were talking about how the Senate Republicans celebrated narrowly voting to open debate on their Obamacare repeal bill. Well, that victory is on life support already because last night, their plan to repeal Obamacare lost 43 to 57. But because the Republicans had a backup plan for their backup plan, it wasn't over because today the Senate voted on an amendment that would repeal Obamacare but not take effect for two years, giving lawmakers time to come together on a replacement plan before people lose their health care. Good news, honey. I know I promised to redo the bathroom and I couldn't agree on how to do it, so I tore out the sink and the toilet. <laughs> now don't poop for two years. <laughs> well, they held the vote today. This afternoon, they held the vote today and they lost again 45 to 55. But that's five times. They lost five times. But don't worry, they have a backup, backup, backup plan. Uh, the so-called skinny repeal, which I think is made with soy milk.